just a quick one today guys you've got your wireless microcontroller um, project and you want to find this ip address um but you don't there's no screen attached you don't want to connect it to a computer um it's even more of a problem when you're out in the field so we've got a solution for you guys you can take that one function from our code and put it in your code most microcontrollers will have an onboard led but by some chance if your microcontroller does not have an onboard led or your microcontroller is um, encased inside your project um, so you can't view the onboard LED. Like for example our pumpkin project, the um, microcontroller is inside the pumpkin so we can't really view the onboard LED. Then we've got a solution for that, we'll show you how to get around that problem later on this, in this video so stick around for that. My sister's now gonna um, demonstrate finding the IP address but this process can usually be done four times faster so we'll show you how to do that as well later on in this video. Just a quick notice, 87% of our viewers are not subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button now, it's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Okay, so let's figure out this IP address. So, one, that's one flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. One, two, two. Two quick flashes is a dot. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dot. One. One up oh, dot. One. Up oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, seven. Okay, loads of flashes. So that's the end, and then it's going to repeat. So let's just check. To save you time, I've cut the next part out. The Pika just repeats the IP address and my sister double checks the IP she has written down. Quite often, if you're on the same network, you'll find that the, uh, all the IP addresses are the same up, up until the last dot. So to save time and hassle, we've given you an option just to show the last segment after the dot. Here is the function in which you can steal. So you can just copy this out of our code. Um, this is the file that's in Google Apps web server. You can get the code off GitHub and our article, check the descriptions. Our sample code works automatically, but it's really easy to customize. For example, up here, we can pass um, the function a lot of different things. For example, we can pass it the LED pin. We said earlier that if you can't see the onboard LED, we would show you a solution um, to get around that. And here you can pass it a different pin. So that could be a pin to a buzzer um, or a different LED. Um, as we're showing on the screen now. Here you can pass it the IP address you want it to blink. Um, you can also change how long you want it to repeat. Um, we've got it set as two for default. Um, you can also change the time, um, the delay between the digits. We found the sweet spot is 0 0.9 seconds, but if it's too fast or too slow for you, there's an option to change that. There is also an option to um, only show the last part of the IP address. We've currently got that as false, but you can change that to true. For context, we'll show you how and where we use this function. We like to put all our preferences in a file called config.py. If you want it to blink the IP, um, which we just demonstrated, you just change this to true. And if you want it to blink the last part of your IP address, change this one to true. Evan, obviously in this file you put your Wi-Fi um, name and password. In main.py, we're dipping into that config file and checking if blink IP is true and only calling the function if it's true. We set our LED pin up earlier in the code and that's what we're sending to our function to flash. And for the option to flash the last octet only, we're dipping into that config file again and pulling it out but you can just use true and false. And all those other options like the delay and repeat, we're not sending through, so it'll just use the default. This code is all part of our MicroPython web server um, that we mainly use on Raspberry Pi Picos, but we've tested it on an ESP8266 and it works, and it should work on um, most other Wi-Fi mic microcontrollers. The web server allows you to control your um, MicroPython projects from any device, tablet, computer um, that has a browser. And best of all, it only takes one line of code to run your function on your microcontroller from our web server. Thanks for watching. 
check out our article for detailed instructions. Also, if you visit our GitHub code, our code on GitHub, um, <laughs> please give us a GitHub star. Yeah. That'd really be appreciated. And if you make anything, we'd love to see your creations. Anyways, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe as well, yeah. please. That'd really help us out. Woo! <laughs>